hi guys this is agro sport tv welcome to my channel let's talk about asna versus crystal palace asna won crystal palace by one zero and it is an interesting game now congratulations to asna for winning their game and um i must say that asna tried a lot in the first half they dominated the first half until crystal palace start getting back into the game and adapt to the game to the extent that asna begin to find it difficult to cope with the game especially when Tomiyasu had the red card so now i want to talk about um five things i learned in this game my number one thing i learned in this game is kai harvard well um kai harvard is a kind of player which i'm still finding very difficult to know if this position ateta is playing him is the best position because kai harvard tried in this match against crystal palace he tried very well but you know i'm expecting to see him play or put more effort the way shaka played during his time in Arsenal in that same position because you can see the involvement the connectivity when shaka played he connect with the midfield the attackers the winger he connect with martinelli he connect with party and he connect with top nine the striker Saka connect with these three people, but that that is is still I'm still finding it very difficult to see Pat um, or Kai Harvard connect with these three people I'm talking about. So um I don't know why Ateta is finding it difficult to understand that Kai Harvard is not getting it right there. I know that this position is not the position Kai Harvard used to play before, but maybe he's trying to get used to it and adapt to it but Ateta need to understand that this is Premier League you can't just play every game the way you want or every opponent you see you just play them the way you like this is Premier League the Premier League don't take chances those little or those lower club you see they buy players they bring in experienced players if you give them little chance they can just flush you away that is one thing about these Premier League clubs. They don't take chances. And you have to make sure that every time you play, you utilize your chance. Another one is Ateta. Ateta, I don't understand the formation you're playing. I know you're trying to change formation from the one you played last season. But you don't try to risk games. You don't risk games like this when you are in Premier Leagues. Playing a uh, party out of position is out of it okay look at these two guys you play out of um, um party and uh, tomiyasu you see how difficult it is for tomiyasu to play in that position he played why you, we have the right people that are supposed to play in that position you refuse to play them but you went ahead to play tomiyasu and you see finally now tomiyasu had the red card and he left the pitch it become pressure on arsenal Playing party in that right back, I don't see any necessary of it. I prefer you play party and rice and Odegaard in that central midfield. I I, I believe no team can defeat Arsenal when these three people play in that central midfield. Nobody can win and nobody can take that middle of the pack away from Arsenal. But you 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 make it difficult for us now. You make it difficult for I know Pate played very very well. He tried, but you can't play this formation now. Whenever you want to play with big team like Man U, Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham, Man City, they will, they will just flush you away or Newcastle. Assuming now you are playing with Newcastle today, is this kind of formation you are going to play with them? They are going to mess you up. They are going to just disgrace you in that pitch. You can't play with you can't play with Newcastle with this kind of formation. You cannot play with Man City with this kind of formation. They will flush you out. You need to start playing everybody in their right position. I know how dominant we are last season when we play our normal position. Now we are happy that you brought in Declan Rice. Now add him into the system. Add party into add him along with party and see how the outcome is going to be. You this living living only Saliba in central defense is a big mess. 
if you have good attacker, assuming now Crystal Palace have good attackers, I don't think we'll, we'll be here talking about all this. It would have been a big disaster for us. How can you just leave only Saliba in that central defense and think that you can you can you can win a match like that? You are lucky to just have this penalty. We are very lucky to win by one zero. Look at our last match. Look at today's match. Look at what you are doing. You, you are just playing games with Arsenal match. You don't play games in Premier League. Premier League is a, one of the tough, toughest league in the world. You know that. You can't just be risking all the match you had this way. Go out with your best team and win this match and everybody go home and rest. Play Ben White in right back. Play him in that right back. Bring him party in the midfield. Play um, Declan Rice at number 8. Then Odegaard, number 10. Then the, the midfield is okay. You see the Arsenal become what they are. Then you can see Saka flow very well. Martinelli flow very well. It's difficult for Martinelli to flow because the connection is not there. The connection is not there between him and Harvard. I just hope this guy return on time. Jesus, Gabriel Jesus return on time so that the connection of him and Martinelli can flow very well. I just hope he return. And I can see the changes the moment um, Zinchenko return came in. The game changed. And I hope he plays next match. I hope he plays next match. Another thing I pinpoint here is Declan Rice and Nketiah. These two guys played very, very well. Declan Rice, wow. Today you really show your what. You show the amount that 105 million pounds they bought you. Today you display that amount to Arsenal. I really enjoy your game today. The strength, the way you're marking, the break, the interception. You're all over the pitch. I love that. But I believe that you will do more better when you have Pate beside you. Because I do see whenever Pate is switching to midfield, that is when I see you playing that game. Because Pate becomes there to defend you, to cover up for you. And I can see that you start flowing very, very well. You start flowing. The moment party coming to the midfield to, to cover for you. That is what I'm still talking about. I think I need to bring in party into the midfield so that that mid middle of the park will be very, very safe and, and comfortable for every everybody to play. Even the defenders. Look at the pressure you're mounting on defender, you're mounting on Saliba. Look at the pressure you're mounting on party playing that right defense. Assuming now that that penalty, the referee don't want to look at that penalty twice. Don't you know that they would, that thing would have caused us penalty? Because of the kind of play you're playing. Assume now, Crystal Palace have good attackers. If, assume they have good attackers. Or they have somebody like Ulisse and them or Saha in this game. They would have buried this game because this is the opportunity for Saha to just bury Arsenal in this game. Ateta, stop risking this match. We need this game. We need every point in this Premier League. So I must say that Ateta need to know what he's doing because this is not League One or any other league. This is Premier League. And my last point I see here is Arsenal are lucky to win this game today. They are very, very lucky to win this game. And uh, congratulations to Arsenal for winning this game. But Ateta, you need to do more. Put every player in their right position so that Arsenal can flow very, very well in their play. Nketiah, you try. I'm not denying that you didn't play very well today. You play because you get us a penalty today. But those two goals, you should have converted them into the net. But I don't know why it didn't happen that way. That's the difference between a, an experienced striker and non-experienced striker. You would have converted that goal. Even the one you chipped up, the one you chipped, you would have converted that one into goal. But... It is what it is. We are happy that finally we got three points at the end. Arsenal, put on your best. Ateta, make sure every players are playing in their best position because we need every point in the Premier League. Please, guys, follow me on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel, Agui Sport TV. I'm still growing. Follow me. Follow me, please, okay?